Okay, that's the recording starting. <clears throat> oh, good morning, everybody. <coughs> Welcome to a beautiful, uh, sunny morning, Wednesday morning. And yeah, it'll be really nice if it stays like this for the rest of the week. So, we're just going to ground down. You can either sit in a cushion or your block. And just settling the body down, rooting down through the sit bones. Just close the eyes, relax the shoulders, and draw the attention to the breath. If you've had a really busy day yesterday, this is a really good way to start your yoga practice. Because sometimes you feel that you really need a stretch out. But in fact, if you calm the mind down, first of all, you'll get a lot more benefit from it. And you'll be open, um, open to the universe, open to the energy and what is coming uh, towards you today. Okay. So let's inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And as you keep breathing, okay, because we're not going to stop breathing, let's just notice how the body's feeling. Already, you should start to notice the shoulders relaxing. Tension releasing from the back. Keeping the spine nice and long, lifting that crown up towards the sky. Feeling the sunshine in your heart. And also the rays of the sun, either coming through the window or coming down upon you if you're outside. Feel the energy around you. Feel the energy of nature. So just sitting quietly, focusing on the breath. Just notice the birds chirping away in the background. And the warmth round about you. There might be other sounds. You might hear if you've got a washing machine on in the background, if you can hear traffic in the distance. Just acknowledging all these sounds, if you hear children playing, it's all right. Everything is okay. Just feeling safe on your mat and feeling the joy in your heart, knowing that this hour is for you, nurturing, nourishing, rejuvenating the body. And draw the attention to the belly. So we're going to do a few yogic breaths now, filling up that belly into the ribs. So notice the ribs expand the front side and into your back and then breathing all the way up to the upper chest. And then exhale chest, ribs go down, belly flattens. Almost feel that belly button pulling back towards the spine. Inhale, belly, ribs, upper chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, and belly. Breathing in belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, and belly. Bring the awareness into the fingers and just feel that they, you're sparkling the fingers as you wiggle them. Circle into the wrist. Gently open the eyes in a soft gaze. Inhale the arms up overhead, filling up the lungs. And sigh the breath back out. Inhale, sunshine into your heart as the arms float up. Exhale, floating arms back down. Once more, inhale, floating arms, and sigh the breath back down. Let's come up onto our feet for a little warm-up in the sunshine. 
Okay, that sun is hot. So shake now into the wrist. And just rotating into the wrist as well. Sometimes when we're busy with our hands all day, they get a little bit achy. Opposite direction. And then nice big inhale, reaching up towards the sky and sigh the breath back down. And inhale, reaching up towards the sky, smile in your heart, exhale, arms down. Just open up the feet a little bit wider. Inhale, lift arm up and exhale, side stretch over. Really opening through that left side of the body. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, side stretch over. Swapping over, inhale, right arm. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale halfway, exhale side stretch over, bringing the arm back, start to rotate into the shoulder, using the momentum of the hip. Just loosen up this, the whole body, use the momentum of the hips to swing the arm around. And then we're going to slow it down, taking it the opposite direction. Okay, opposite arm, taking it back. Slowing it down, opposite direction. Okay, well done. Taking both arms up for our windmill arms, dropping the left in front and the right behind. You feel the lungs working here. Okay, take the arms back up, opposite direction. Okay, shake it out, roll through the shoulders. The spinal twist, come off that back heel, twisting around from side to side, really open up into the body. And then slowing down. So bring the feet closer together, rooting down through the feet. Planting that left foot down, shaking out that right ankle. If you need to hold on to something, that's perfectly okay. And then start to rotate into the ankle. Oh, mine feel a wee bit creaky this morning. Opposite direction. And then one way, other. One way, other, one way, other, one way, other. Flexing into the knee. Just making sure the foot is going the same direction as the knee faces. And then we're going to swing the whole of the leg. And then lifting the knee up, take it out to the side and behind. Up, side, behind. Up, side, behind. Up, side, behind. Up, side, behind. Taking a hold of the foot, draw the knees together, open up into the chest. Breathing in for five. And out for five. Shake it out. So root down to your right foot, shaking out that left ankle. And then start to rotate into the ankle. Opposite direction. And then one way, other, one way, other, one way, other. Flexing into the knee.
and then swinging the whole of the leg forward and back. Okay, we're going to bring the knee up, take it out to the side and behind. Up, side, behind. Up, side, behind. Up, side, behind. Up, side, behind. Take a hold of the foot, draw the knees together, open up into the chest, breathing in for five. And out for five. Let's shake it out. So I think we'll work into the legs first of all this morning, okay? doing some of our warrior and our wide angle poses, but just shake the body out first of all, just get yourself all nice and wobbly and loose. Okay, so let's take the feet nice and wide to start with, and toes facing forward. Just roll the shoulders back and clasp the hands behind the back. Root the hands down towards the floor, nice open chest. Take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, come into flat back. You'll feel the hamstrings getting lengthened here, the calf. Just looking down towards the floor, keep the power in the feet, and pushing into the feet, rising all the way back up again. And again, roll the shoulders back, slide these shoulders down the spine. Exhale, folding forward. And from here, start to take the hands up towards the ceiling. Okay, the crown of the head coming towards the floor, drawing these shoulder blades together. And then inhale, rising all the way up. Release the hands, roll through the shoulders. Open up the arms and push these imaginary walls away. Okay, and then just extend the hands out to the side, okay? And just make small circles with the hands. Just very small circles. Doesn't matter what direction. And then change your direction, just small circles. And then turn the palms upwards, okay? So keeping the arms out shoulder height, take the arms back behind you, okay? Opening up into the chest, you're also getting a nice nerve stretch down the arms and release and come back. <clears throat> and then taking the arms back again, drawing the shoulder blades together, open up into the chest and release, bring them back. Once more, taking them back, opening up into the front of the chest, drawing the shoulder blades together, and release. Lower the arms down, roll into the shoulders. Okay. Take the hands onto the hips. Roll the shoulders back, open up into the chest, and come back into forward fold. Inhale, pushing into the feet, rising all the way back up. Now, you might want to use a block here. Okay, if you don't have a block, a book will do. So just having your blocks close by. And again, start to pivot into the hips, coming into flat back, and then folding all the way down. Just taking the hands onto the mat in front of you and open up your feet a little bit more. Toes still facing forward. And make sure all four corners of your feet are rooted down. Okay, the ball of the toes, the base of the pinkies, either side of the heels. And then plant that right hand down, okay, directly under your face. And inhale, twisting round, drawing that left arm up, taking the gaze up towards the sky if you can, keeping the hips square to the mat. So you're stacking the arms one top of the other. And you're going to release the head down, bring the hand down. Swap the hands over. Inhale, right arm twisting round, opening up into the chest, keeping the hips square to the mat. Bring the head down first and bring the hand down. Same again, opposite side. Inhale, floating that left arm up, opening into the chest. Let's take two deep breaths here. Breathing 
pushing strongly into the feet as well. Lower the head, lower the hand down. Same again, opposite side, raising that right arm up, opening into the chest. Two deep breaths here. And then lower the head, bring the hands down. Oh, that's Bumblebee wanting to join in. Okay. So just walk the hands back slightly. Okay. Until they're about in line with the feet. Taking the hips back. Just watch that you're not going to fall back. Okay. And then fold forward. Okay, just dropping the crown down. Again, you might want to open up your feet a little bit more. You might even want to bring your elbows down. Just feel that lovely long stretch in your spine, over the hips, down the legs. And then come back up into flat back. So you're going to draw the heels in slightly, bend into that left knee and just walk the hands over to that left foot. Okay, you can either be in fingertips, plant the hands down or fist. So you want to sink the hips down in line with the knees. The head is up higher than the hips, okay, not the opposite way about. Walk the hands back to centre and bending into that right knee. So wide angle squat, opening up into the hips. Just be aware if you've got any knee issues going on. Inhale, center. Exhale, back over to the left. Gently opening up into the hip. Inhale, center. Exhale, coming over to the right. Okay. Now from here, walk the hands all the way to the back of the mat and rotate into the feet. Okay. So you're coming into runner's lunge here. That back heel is off the ground. So here I've got my right foot forward. Doesn't matter if you're the opposite way to the camera. Um, so if I'm saying left, it may be your right. Make sure that front knee is over the ankle. So what we're doing here is we're getting a nice stretch down the front of that back thigh. Lifting the heart through. You may even want to use your blocks here. And then let's drop the back knee down, drop the back foot down, and glide the hips back. Keep the front foot planted just now, so we're getting a nice stretch down the front of that leg. You may feel a nice stretch down the back. Inhale, coming forward, lifting the heart through. Nice low lunge. Breathe into these hips, a couple of deep breaths here. And then glide the hips back. Let's lift through the toes now. So you get a nice stretch down the back of the leg all the way up to the buttock. Inhale forward and sweeping the arms up, coming into a crescent lunge. Now drop the hands down and you can either Take a hold of the elbows behind the back or bring your hands into prayer. Okay, nice open chest here. Now, working into the legs, tuck the back toes under and straighten into that back leg. Quite a strong one this. If you need to use the hands, that's okay. Three deep breaths here. Drop the knee down, release the hands, and glide the hips back. Lift through the toes. You didn't expect that one this morning. <laughs> okay. Coming forward, sweeping the arms up into a crescent lunge. Relax the shoulders. Two deep breaths here. Lower the hands down. So yogi's choice, you can hold on to the elbows, you can bring the hands into prayer. Nice open chest, tuck the back toes under. So push into the back toes, raise that back knee off the mat. Strong in the front leg, front knee over, front ankle. 
lower down, release the hands and glide the hips back. Oh, I'm feeling that this morning. Oh. Okay, so come back to the front, tuck the back toes under, lift the hips up and we're going to start to walk back round to centre and over to the opposite side of the mat. Okay, so in runner's lunge. Drop the knee down, drop the back foot down and just gliding the hips back, keep the front foot down. And inhale forward, sweeping the arms up. Coming into crescent lunge here. Plant the hands down, gliding the hips back and lift through the toes this time. So that lovely long stretch down the back of the legs, over the buttock, into the low back. Inhale, coming forward, sweeping the arms up, lower the shoulders down. Okay, so from here again, you may want to take the elbows or take palms together, tuck the back toes under and raise that back knee up. Okay, like a strong posture this. If you need to use your hands, that's okay. Drop the knee down, drop the hands down and glide the hips back, lifting through the toes. Okay, so once more, sweeping the arms up, lower the shoulders down. Two deep breaths here. Bring the hands behind the back. You can take elbows or bring the hands into reverse here. Tuck the back toes under, rising up into a high lunge. Couple of deep breaths. Lower back down, release the hands and glide the hips back, lifting through the toes. Okay, coming forward. Tuck the back toes under, lift the knee up and start to walk back round. Okay, we're going to go back round to the front of the mat again. Drop the back knee down and heel toe that right foot off to the side, dropping the knee off, okay? So we're coming into lizard's pose here. So it helps to open up the hips a little bit more. You can stay here or you can use your blocks uh, bring in your, <laughs> you can bring the arms down onto the blocks or all the way to the floor. Just notice how your hips are feeling. So we take a few breaths here. Oh, that sun is hot. Thank goodness we're not doing the yoga in the middle of the afternoon. A little bit of ice lolly yoga. Okay, so coming back up, just heel toe the foot back in. Okay, and we're going to introduce a little twist here. So you can use your block if you wish, and then inhale that right arm coming up. You can come into a bind here. And then release, coming back round. Okay. Tuck the back toes under, lift the hips up, come back to the centre. Okay, just rest here in the centre, nice flat back. And then walking all the way to the opposite side. Okay, dropping the knee down. So heel toe that left foot off to the side, drop the knee off. So you're coming onto the outside edge of the left foot. Okay. And then yogi's choice. You can either stay here if you're feeling the hips a little bit tight or 
you can come down onto the elbows. I'm a little bit tighter in this side, so just listen to what's going on in your body. That hip doesn't like it. Okay, so come back up onto the hands, heel toe that foot back. Okay, little twist here, planting that right hand down. Inhale, twisting around to the left. You can take the hand behind the back, coming into a bind. Gaze into the back of your mat. Release the hand, come back round, tuck the back toes under, lift the hips up, come back into your wide angled pose and just fold forward. You might need to open up your feet. We'll count your pose here, just dropping the crown down towards the floor. Okay. So let's come up onto our hands and heel to the feet in and we're going to come into a squat. Now I know some people might need to come onto their blocks for a squat and that's okay. So just jumping in, <clears throat> you might need to take the blocks under your heels as well if you can't get your feet flat down or you might need to take your bottom onto a block. Whatever works for you. And then just bring the hands, palms together into prayer and bring the elbows on the inside of the knee, pressing the palms together. So you're going to push these elbows into the knee, so creating a bit of resistance here and elbows pushing into the hands. Just close the eyes, just notice how the body's feeling. Concentrating on the breath. Just meditating on the breath just now. So I thought while we're down here, we can try to work into our arm balances by coming into crow. <clears throat> okay, so you can use your blocks for this. So I'll show you the variation with the blocks and the variation without. Okay, so if it's a wee file, since you've done this pose, <clears throat> what you want to do is be, you're bringing the hips up higher, um, up nice and high, that's what I'm trying to say. And you open up the, the hands, okay, spreading the fingers and planting the hands down like crow's feet. That's probably why it's got its, its name. And you want to bring these elbows under the knees, okay, creating a shell for the knees. So the hands come out just a little bit in front of you and just lean into the backs of the arms and come back and just lean forward and back. Don't tuck, <clears throat> don't tuck the chin to the chest because what you'll do then is create uh, a roly-poly scenario. Okay, so you need to keep the head up. You need to keep the spine nice and long to create that balance. So what you're doing is you're just feeling your way, creating shells for the knees. The hips are up nice and high. And just gently come forward and back, just exploring. You might need to change the position of the hands, push down into the fingers, the thumbs plant down, lifting the hips up, just leaning the knees into the hands. You might want to bring one foot up, then the other. <laughs> Okay, so once you build up your confidence here, you can take the blocks away and notice what sort of height that you need. There's also another pose that you take the knees to the outside and you squeeze them into the arms. It's a lot tougher this one, but you squeeze them into the arms and you're bringing uh, the hips up a little bit higher. Okay, so you've got to be quite safe with the wrists. And that's why you're pushing into the fingers. You're not putting the weight into the wrist. 
to bring in the weight into the hands. Okay. It's all about the position and also the confidence as well. How are you feeling? Are you rooting these fingers into the mat? Do you have your hips up high enough? Is your head up? And just adjust the knees into the arms. Might even just want to come up onto one foot or the other. Okay. Well done. So, coming back with our feet on the ground, okay? We're going to take the blocks away and we're going to have a little seat, okay? Just extend into the legs, give them a nice little shake out. Windscreen wiper into the feet. Oh. Well, these legs have worked hard this morning. Okay, and we're going to point the toes towards the floor, get a nice stretch down the front of the legs and release. Point the toes down towards the floor and release. Point the toes down towards the floor and release. Now we're going to pull the toes back. Okay, lengthen up through the spine here. Lifting the toes back and release. You notice when you release the toes, the body seems to collapse because when we build up strength into our legs, we actually hold our posture uh, a lot better. So again, pulling the toes back, feel that strength in the legs, feel it traveling all the way up through the body and release. And again, pulling the toes back and release. Okay, so we're going to, we're in Dundasan at the moment, staff pose or uh, just a, a seated uh, pose. We're going to work a little bit more into lengthening through the back. And to come into this, you might even want to roll up the back of your mat or have a rolled towel or a cushion. Um, you might even want to open up the buttocks a little bit wider, just lengthening through the spine and keeping the toes flexed. Inhale, rising up, lifting up out of the hips and reaching past the toes. Okay, just coming to your halfway point, reaching forward. And then we're going to inhale these arms rising back up and exhale the arms down. Okay, inhale, arms rising up, reaching up towards the sky. So you're lifting up out of the pelvis and you're reaching past the toes. Reach, 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 reach past the toes, keep the spine nice and long. Use that Ujjaya breath. Keep on reaching. You'll feel the backs of the legs lengthen the tail. Inhale, rising back up and just lower the arms down. Okay. We're going to go for the full pose this time. Pashimottanasana is seated forward fold. Inhale, lifting up out of the hips. Reaching up. So you're reaching, reaching past the toes. Keep reaching past the toes. Keep reaching past the toes and then start to fold over, not curling through the body. Take a hold of the feet or the ankles. You can even use your strap here, okay? Just folding over and use the breath. Keep the spine nice and long. So keep the neck, eh, the neck, <laughs> the neck in line with the spine. <laughs> A new name for the neck, you see? Nicky, nicky, new. Maybe a notice. You might even want to have a little wriggle out of the sides of the body as you're folding over. Bringing the chest closer towards the thighs. You don't be tempted to tuck the chin to the chest. Breathe into the posture. This was always one of the postures I hated. I think because my back was so tight years ago. Just with all that emotional baggage that we carry from time to time, 
the backs get really tight. Use that Ujjayi breath. And then we're slowly going to walk the hands back up the legs. Oh, how does that feel? Let's roll through the shoulders. Okay. So I think it would be good for us to come in at a little twist now because we've done a lot of uh, spinal lengthening. So, um, actually, take that right foot over the left knee. Okay. Keep that left foot flexed, just pulling the toes back. Lengthen through the spine. Inhale that right arm up, twisting round towards the right. Take the fingers as close to the buttocks as you can. So you're drawing that right shoulder back. Already we start to twist into the spine. And hugging either that right thigh or you can take your elbow, whatever works for you. So when you use the knee, it takes the pressure off the shoulders. It helps you with your spinal twist a little bit more. Remember, and keeping that left foot flexed. So twisting is a great counter pose to a forward fold. You wouldn't go from a forward fold to a back bend or a back bend to a forward fold. You want to do a twist in between. So closing the eyes. Ujjayi breathing. Keep the shoulders relaxed as much as you can. Use the knee as a lever as you rotate. You feel a little bit of shoulder strength in that left shoulder. Let's take another deep breath here. And as you exhale, just gently unwind. Okay, just straighten out the legs, shake out the legs. I'm just going to come face the camera in opposite direction. Okay, so left foot over right knee, lengthen up through the spine, pulling the right toes back, inhale that left arm. So open up into the left side of the chest, placing the fingers down behind the buttock, chin parallel to the floor, and whatever works for, excuse me, whatever works for you, twisting around, looking over that left shoulder. Keep the shoulders as relaxed as you can, opening up into the left side of the chest, keeping that right foot flat. Jaya breathing. Nice deep Ujjaya breath. Really focus on the breath here. Meditating on the pose. Okay, gently unwinding, coming back round. Extend through the legs, windscreen wiper into the feet. Okay. So, let's cross, come into easy pose, crossing the feet, at the ankles. And rolling forward onto all fours, if you can. Coming into all fours, we're going to do a few little cat cows here. I'm just going to move the strap out the road. Okay. So knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Take a nice big inhale, lifting the heart through. As you exhale, tuck that tailbone under, feel that belly button into the spine, dropping the chin to chest. Inhale, tailbone rising, dipping through the back. Lifting the heart through. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, pushing the back up, dropping chin to chest. Really pushing to the knees and into the hands to get that extension in the back. Inhale, dipping through the back. Fill up that belly. Lift the heart through. Exhale. Ujjayi breathing. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. From here, tuck the toes under, push the hips back and up, and just walking out your downward dog, 
bending one knee, pushing the opposite heel down, having a little wiggle if you want from side to side. And come to stillness, just root the heels down as much as you can, pushing the chest towards the thigh. And then start to walk the hands back towards the feet. If you need to soften the knees, that's okay. Just soften the knees now and just allow yourself to hang like a rag doll. You might even want to sweep the hands from side to side, just opening up into the side body. And then open up the feet just a little bit wider than hip width apart. Okay, planting that right hand down. Now, if you can't reach the floor, you might want to use a block. Okay, good job, I've got my sports bra on. And then inhale, twisting round. Now, it's a little bit more difficult when you've got a narrower stance and a wide-legged stance. Release the head. Bring that left hand down and inhale, twisting round to the right. Keeping the gaze round if you can, keep that, the hips square to the mat. Release the head down once more. Inhale, left arm comes up. Release the head, bring the hand down. And right side, inhale, right hand comes up. Exhale down. Okay, walk the hands back out again. And come to plank. Okay. Come into plank pose. Drop the knees and glide back into child's pose. So extended child pose, pushing the hands out in front. Sit bones coming down towards the heels. Then he'll come forward onto all fours, tuck the toes under and come back into plank. Walk or glide the hips back into downward dog. And then walk the hands back towards the feet. Going back into your forward fold, soften through the knees and bring the feet back under the hips. Lower the sit bones down, sweeping the hands out in front, coming into your chair pose. Okay, keep the shoulders nice and soft. Keep pushing down into the feet, rising up. Exhale, arms come down, roll the shoulders back. Okay, stepping that right foot forward, coming into warrior one. The hips are rooting forward. Inhale, sweeping the arms up and glide the shoulders down. Three deep breaths here in your warrior one. Remember front knee is over the ankle. Okay, lower the arms back down. Okay. What I want you to do is take a step further forward with the the right foot, okay? And just taking the arm out to the side, uh, the arm, <laughs> the left toes out to the side, just taking a slightly longer stance here. Sweeping the arms up. And then rotating the back foot, coming back into your crescent lunge. Okay. Plant the hands down and straighten through the front leg. So we're coming into a wider stance variation of pyramid pose. Okay. Plant the hands down. Step back to downward dog. Just pedal through the feet here. Walk the hands back towards the feet. 
So just check the feet are under the knees. Okay, soften the knees, root the sit bones down, sweeping the arms forward, coming into chair pose. Pushing into the feet, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Okay, so stepping that left foot forward, setting up for warrior one on the opposite side. Sweeping the arms up, relax the shoulders down. Taking your gaze up between the hands, whether you're gazing at your ceiling or the sky. Three deep breaths. And then lower the hands down. So just step that back foot back a little bit further. Okay. Coming back into a crescent lunge here. It's actually in my mind whether to take you further into a little bind. But the legs must be feeling a little bit wobbly here. Okay. Okay, plant the hands down. Let's step back to downward dog. How are we doing for time? That's plenty time. Giddy, giddy. Okay, just pedal through the legs. Okay, drop the knees down and let's come back into child's pose. That's your resting pose here. Okay, come up into all fours. Bring the knees back under the hips. Different variation and coming into your pigeon pose and bring that right knee forward. Just Bringing the right foot across diagonally and sliding that left leg back. Lowering down into your pigeon. And just deepening the breath, gently start to walk the hands back. So yesterday we were taking our pigeon, our king pigeon, a little bit deeper. So yogi's choice this morning, bend into that left knee and plant the right hand down and reach back with your left hand for your left foot. Okay. If you want to take the twist a little bit deeper, however, Keep that back foot up and swap the hands. So bring the left hand down, reaching back for that right foot with your left, uh, sorry, with that left foot with your right hand. And then gently release. Okay, bringing more strength into the legs now, okay? might feel a little bit wobbly because we have worked them quite hard this morning. You want to push down into the leg, pushing down into the leg. So as you push down, you lighten up, planting that right hand down and let's inhale that left arm up, coming into a mask pose. Three deep breaths here. And then lowering back down, plant the hands down, tuck the back toes under, and push back into your downward dog. Okay. So, drop the knees down, bring that left knee forward, bringing the left foot across diagonally, and slide that right leg back. 
gently lower down into your pigeon pose. You're getting yourself comfortable, drawing the attention to the breath. Ujjaya breathing. Really meditate on that Ujjaya breath. And then slowly walking the hands back up. So again, bend into that right knee. You can plant the left hand down and you can take that right hand back. Take a hold of the foot. Okay. If you want to take it a little bit deeper, swapping the hands and taking the twist around, okay, opening up into the left side of the chest. So listen to what's right for your body. Listen to what's going on with your knees, your hips, and then lower the legs down. So what you want to do now is push into the legs, really root down into the legs, feeling the body lighten up. And we're going to take a right hand onto our right leg this time and inhale that left hand coming up. Three deep breaths. Pushing strongly down into the legs, into the feet, finding stability in Mother Air. And then gently coming back down. Okay. So bring yourself round onto your buttocks. Semi supine, rolling down onto the back. Open up the feet, take the hands out to the side and just gently dropping the knees from side to side. And then actually a good pose for your relaxation would be a supported bridge pose. You can, if you do have your block here, just taking it under the hips, drop the knees together. So you're opening up into the back. If that's not for you, that's okay. You can take your legs up the wall or you can just extend through the legs. Whatever is right for you. And just settle the body down. We'll do a gentle, really quick tense and release. So as you settle down into the support of your mat, I want you to tighten up your toes, tighten up your feet, tight, 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 and release. Bring awareness into the legs now and tighten up the calves and the thighs and release. Tighten up the buttocks, the hips, the abdomen, the low back, tight, 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 and release. Making fists with the hands, push the hands down towards the feet, push, 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 push. And release. Screw up the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the whole the face, tight, tight, tight. And release. And notice how your body releases. Are you still holding tension somewhere or are you allowing it to let go? So just allow the body to open up. As you relax back in Shavasana, drawing the attention to the breath, meditating on the breath, giving yourself time for relaxation. The most important part of your yoga class today, just letting go, letting go. Letting go. Inhale, visualizing the word let. Exhale, visualizing go. And you can just see it in your mind's eye. 
Inhale, let. And exhale, go. Inhale, let. Sigh out, go. Give it permission. Inhale, let. Exhale, go. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Just re repeating the words inside your head, working with the breath. Inhale, let. And exhale, go. Inhale, let. And exhale, go. Inhale, let. And exhale, go. Inhale, let. Exhale, go. Inhale, let. And exhale, go. And just give the body permission to stay here for a good five, ten minutes. Just enjoying the tranquility, and the peace and quiet, whether you're outside or inside. Just keeping your attention on the breath. Setting your intention for today. Keeping sunshine in your heart. Whatever you do, know that I'm thinking about you. And hopefully, we'll be meeting up soon. So just staying there, nice and relaxed, enjoying the peace and quiet. <laughs> 